the UFC 170 presser has just wrapped up and earlier today we actually got to go up to the room of Patrick Cummins and follow him around this morning really get to see what he was anticipating from this press conference and especially his thoughts on seeing Daniel Cormier for the first time this week. We took over the, uh, the UFC's Instagram and we, we decided to go down to Citizen and make a couple coffees. Steaming some milk. Oh. Oh, no big deal. I'm in the co-main event Saturday night, but I'm just yeah, gonna make no this way. latte back here. Yeah, the one girl's like, who, who are you? It's been a drastic change, but um, it, I, I've, I've been having fun with it. I think, you know, all the media stuff's been really fun and, and uh, I'm looking forward to the press conference today. The one thing that people do know about you is that you're fighting Daniel Cormier on very, very short notice, and you got the phone call at work at a coffee shop. How, from that moment to now, has your life changed? <laughs> it's changed incredibly. One day I'm waking up, 2.30 in the morning, going to a shift at the coffee shop, and the next day I'm flying to Vegas. What's up, man? Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, thanks, man. I'm right. loving it. People love an underdog, and I feel like I've filled that role. People love that. I think, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just another hardworking guy, like, like some of those people that are my fans, and I, I appreciate every second of it. I'm not one to, to go you know, bragging about myself very often, but you know, this opportunity came up and uh, I'm willing to talk about it. Patrick, hold the microphone up, we can't hear you. Hey, sorry man, it's my first time. <laughs> but listen, I'll, I'm gonna, uh, I feel like we've gotten really close in, the, in this past week, so I'm not gonna call you Daniel, I'm gonna call you Dan. You okay with that? And I'm gonna beat you up on Saturday, are you okay with that? I'd love for you to come try. And you're going to face off at the end of the press conference. How do you foresee that going down? I don't want to say, yeah, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be intense. Cause, you know, you never know. But um, I'm willing to take it where it, where it needs to go. What the heck happened on stage just now for that face off? Um, my plan is coming together. You know, he got him, got him a little heated, and you know, he, he's he's making it emotional. And I think that's exactly what I want. You know, I want to get in his head, and I, I want to take him to that place where. You know, his, his it's no longer it's no longer I'm gonna be calm, you know, work through work through what I need to work through and, and try to win this fight. It's I'm mad and I'm gonna let emotion take over. I know I've made him upset in the past in the past, you know, week or so. And I think it's it's been frustrating him that he's you know, he hasn't been coming back with anything good. Tell me about what your next twenty four hours will be like. Now it's just time to let everything, all this, go past me and start to narrow my focus on, on what I need to do on Saturday. All right, you heard from Patrick what he thought about that face-off. We'll see what tomorrow has in store for us at the weigh-ins. Until next time, I'm Megan Olivi, and I'll see you at the fights.